hi my name is Tamara welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new if you're new and you like what you see please stick around we would love to have you my background looks different because I'm at my, at my mom's house so you know I'm eating good this week drop a comment if you go to see your mom and she hooks you up <laughs> let me know Jamaicans when we go see our parents or my mom when I go see her she has a whole list of food that I want so rest assured I'm eating well <laughs> I'm gonna put on about 10 pounds before I leave but anyways I digress let's get back into the video today it's all about dupes now I do have um, I do love my perfumes I have expensive I have um, affordable and I have a good dupe right because there are times I don't want to always spray my expensive perfumes and there are times when I don't want to spend the money to buy the expensive per perfume when I can get the same smell same longevity same sillage from something that is much cheaper so if you're like me and you want to see what these are please keep on watching the first one we're going to be talking about is club de nuit imperial this is a dupe for delina exclusive when i tell you this is a close dupe this is almost a one-to-one -one dupe for the Lena exclusive. You're going to get longevity, you're going to get the sillage, and you're going to get the smell. So if you don't want to pay the price for the Lena exclusive, or you can't get the Lena exclusive, try this. Or try this, see if you like it. The price point is really affordable. See if you like it, and then you can get the Delina if you really like this one. But this one, close to. When I wear this, people think I'm wearing the original. This one opens up with lychee, bergamot, and the nutmeg. It has a little spice in the opening, but then you have Turkish rose, you have vanilla, musk, and peony in the mid, vanilla and incense in base. But don't let the incense fool you. It's not the incense that's in um, guidance, totally different. This is absolutely beautiful. If you have this, comment. Let them know how close this is to the Lena exclusive this is amazing love love this one i'm actually leaving this for my mom because she has to have this beautiful it's this fruity floral um powdery with a creamy dry down um it is just beautiful the only con i would say of this one is the opening is a little bit sour or more sour than the than the Delina exclusive but it's quickly dissipate after a while you don't smell that sourness and that beautiful highly highly recommend this one almost I would say 95% to original Delina exclusive and this is Club de Nord Imperial now, the next one we're gonna be talking about <laughs> is um, you all know Bianco Latte is all over social media right and for good reasons it's long lasting it's beautiful it's creamy it has the caramel it's just everything right however it's also 150 or something like that clear by Latafa this is almost a one-to-one -one dupe for Bianco Latte the longer this sits the better it gets now the only thing I would say I would say 98% to Bianco Latte Bianco Latte is just a tad bit more refined and a little bit creamier than this one. But same smell, longevity. Again, Bianco Latte is going to give you a little bit more beast mode, but this is up there. This is going to give you eight plus hours on your clothes. You're going to get the compliments like you normally get when you wear Bianco Latte. Bianco Latte is one of my top most complimented um, perfumes. This is up there. It is creamy. It's long lasting. It is sweet. It has the milk and the caramel in there. It's just overall a beautiful scent. I don't get the latte smell and I still don't get that from Bianco Latte. But this is a beautiful creamy vanilla scent for a fraction of the cost. It's a, it, this one must have if you love creamy if you love something with some caramel and milk if you love your vanilla to be a little bit lactonic but just creamy and rich you will love eclair now the notes in this one is the caramel the milk and the sugar it has honey and white floral white flowers in the mid and then in the base it has vanilla praline and musk so of course it's very sweet it's not overly sweet and the musk 
really comes through. It has that musky dry down, so it's not just flat sweet. It has um, that wooden notes, that musk in there to really give it some oomph to it, as I normally say. But Eclair must have for your fall and winter. Now, the other one we're going to be talking about, you either love guidance or you hate guidance. However, um, guidance, as you all know, I didn't like it in the beginning, but I grew to love guidance. And I also had a sample, which I think wasn't the real, real sample or the best sample. However, if you don't want to spend the price point for guidance, or you don't know if you're going to get into guidance and you want to try something else to see, this I think is like a summer version of guidance. It's a little bit more fresh than the guidance. And this is, by the way, Bahain, Arbane, Al Asar, Asarar, don't know, don't come for me. I really don't know how to pronounce this one. But this one, it's 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 really smell like guidance when you first spray it. So um, it opens up with pear and the is nuts. It's a little bit nutty in the opening. As it dries down, the, the asmantus is coming through and you're starting to get that saffron coming through and that rose. The floral, the floral notes are coming through in the mid and then it has the sandalwood and the vanilla and the akigala wood in the base so very close and it also has incense as well as you know the original guidance has incense i think it's a little bit fresher take on guidance it is not beast mode as guidance and it, the incense is not as strong as guidance but it is there very similar I wouldn't say a one-to-one. -one. I would say about 90% to guidance or 85, but it's remnants of guidance. If you spray this, someone is going to think that you have one guidance for a while and they're smelling that, um, that dry down of guidance because it's really, really close. So let's talk about notes. It has the pear that is not early by numb in the opening. It has osmantas, rose, saffron, and jasmine. And in the base, it has the sandalwood, the vanilla, the akigala wood, and the labdanum in the base. So you're going to get some wood base, a little bit of sweetness from the vanilla, and a little bit of creaminess from the sandalwood. But overall, very good dupe for guidance. So if you want to see what the hype is about guidance, and or you just want to try to see if you're going to like guidance, I will say try this one. And this is Bayin Al Asarar. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'll have it on the on the screen for you. Beautiful, love this one, and the bottle is pretty too, very pretty. So let's talk about Baby Cat, right? Everybody's trying to get Baby Cat. It's hard to get, and Baby Cat is really a complex scent. If you want to try Baby Cat or see what Baby Cat may smell like, like to get a remnant of Baby Cat, this one is a good do. And this is Riffa Cut. Um, this one is a beautiful, warm, spicy scent. It is complex, very complex. So if you want, if you've heard so much, and like if you watch my girl like myself, um, Sharita, you know she loves her baby cat, right? But if you can get baby cat and you want to, you want to smell baby cat, or you want an idea of what baby cat may smell like, try this. This is really a great dupe and a really good alternative to Baby Cat. This one, um, it opens up spicy. So it's a real spicy opening. It has the, um, it's in the back. It actually has uh, top notes is Elemi. I don't know what that is. It has pink pepper and black pepper. So very spicy in the opening. And then it has saffron and badnam. In the bit in the in the art is the vanilla and the cedar wood so the dry down is very beautiful i would say when you first spray that spiciness that you get from the pink pepper and black pepper it's gonna go away and then after a while the dry down that vanilla dry down with the wooden notes it's really really beautiful so if you first spray don't be turned off by that spicy note it goes away and then you get this beautiful vanilla scent. So I would say if you are not sure about, by the way, this is from Paris Corner. If you are not sure about Baby Cat and you want to smell what it may smell like, this one it is. And it's complex. It is, I would say Baby Cat is not safe blind buy. You want to try that before you buy it because it's really a complex scent. This one will give you a better idea if it's something that you want to 
just blind buy but again this is Riffa cut by um, Paris Corner and this is a dupe for baby cat really love this one it's I really love this pretty you know I love my Valaya Valaya is one of my favorite scents it's long lasting it's for special occasion it's good for spring summer and it's really it's gonna be it's beast mode boost your confidence because everybody's gonna tell you you smell good but it's also very expensive so if you don't want to spend that coin and you want to get Valaya then try Mystique Bouquet now this one is a little bit sweeter than Valaya look the dent is real right this one is a little bit sweeter than Valaya now it is so close now it doesn't have the Akigala wood in the base and it doesn't have the aldehydes in the opening like Valaya those are the only notes that are missing from um, this one so it is leans a little bit sweeter than Valaya a lot of people they have to get used to how the hides in their scent because um, that can be a little bit strong so this one doesn't have it so it's a little bit sweeter it lasts about eight plus hours on your clothes Valaya as you know if you know anything about Valaya you know it's beast mode right this is a beautiful alternative it's gonna give you longevity it's gonna give you siage um, it's gonna give you compliments so if you want to get if you don't want to pay the price for Valaya but you want to get that smell um, then I would say definitely try this one this one is from Afnan this one the first time I wore this one I tell you someone was like what are you wearing you smell amazing I always get compliments with this one because I do have Valaya but I'm trying to baby the Valaya okay because it's not cheap this one opens up with white peach mandarin orange and bergamot and orange very fresh very few fruity and then it has the peony the orange blossom and the vetiver in the mid in the base it has musk and broxon oak moss and vanilla so very a little bit sweeter but it is so close i would also say this is about 90 percent of an um to valaya it leans a tad bit sweeter really beautiful overall again this is i love this one and this is mystique bouquet by afnan now let's get into fresh and clean creed aventus for her is my boss babe my summer staple my fresh clean musky scent also it's not the most affordable right however if you want to smell if you want to have that creed um scent that fresh clean musky then this is um Laventur and this is by Al Araman. Now very close to very fresh. When you first spray it you get that fresh opening like the Creed because the Creed has that apple and that bergamot in the opening, right? This one has the lemon and the bergamot in the um in the opening. The Creed has apple in the opening as well with bergamot. But this is a beautiful now i will say it's a little bit sharper than the creed however that sharpness goes away after a while beautiful it has great siage longevity is amazing on this one this one of course it projects this is overall a good dupe for creed price point is amazing um you can get this at amazon this is a fraction of the cost for Creed Aventus for her and you're getting that same smell fresh clean musky beautiful scent so if you want to try if you want to try to see if you're gonna like the Creed but you don't want to pay the, pay the price all of these these are good alternative to the affordable one right because sometimes you want to see if you're gonna like it or see if it mixes with your body chemistry because I can tell you that I love a scent and it, it's the most beautiful scent on me and you can smell the same scent and it doesn't mix with your chemistry right so these are good options to see if these will be something that will work with your body chemistry so this one amazing so the notes in this one you have lemon bergamot LMA I need to know what LMA is or LME I'm not sure the base the mid you have some woody nose jasmine lily of the valley and then in the base you have musk patchouli and amber beautiful if you love creed you don't want to spend the price get this you 
will and thank me later you will love this one and again this one is La Ventura by Al Araman Angel Share fall what in the fall angels share a lot of people pull for their angel share because angel share is that sweet boozy scent i don't like angel share it's too, it was just too boozy too much for me however my favorite is um camera by latafa however this is not a dupe for latafa for for angel share to me, this is just an alternative. It's not as boozy as Angel Share. It's just, it's different. But I love this more than Angel Share. Really, really love this. This is my go-to for Angel Share. But if you want that boozy, that strong boozy Angel Share vibe, then you want Kismet Angel. Kismet Angel is a close dupe to Angel Share. So if you're looking for that boozy, smell that you get from angel share then this is the one for you if you want something that's a little bit more softer nicer easy to wear less boozy then you want the camera by latafa now this one i would say so this one is not um as boozy as the not as boozy as the original um angel share and is not as sweet however the boozy the booze is there you're gonna smell the booze um and you're gonna smell a little bit of a hint of sweetness just not as sweet because angel share to me it's sweet and boozy right but it's that one the reason why i don't love that one because i feel like i have to be going out to wear it. i can't see myself wearing it to work or just regular because it's the booziness it's just too boozy for me this one is a close one to it it's just not as boozy and as sweet as that one. It's like a fresher take, a lighter take on Angel Share, but really good, really good one. Again, if you want Angel Share, try this. If you want an alternative to Angel Share, try Camera. I really love Camera because I don't want that boozy, booziness. Camera is just a beautiful scent. But again, Kismet, um, Kismet Angel, really close to really good alternative to angel share if you want now i would say try it if you think you're gonna if you want to get angel share but you don't want to spend the price try this one and if you loved it so much and you want to get that boozy sweetness that angel share has then then get angel share but for right now i would say this is a good dupe for that one and it opens up it has the vanilla um the honeycomb and the amber and the open then you're gonna get that kanya cognac cinnamon little spice and some tonka bean in the mid and then it dries down to this sweet dark chocolate however the dark chocolate the dark chocolate is in the base it's just not a sweet don't think sweet it's just not a sweet it's a fresh take on angel share but i really like it kismet angel <laughs> let's go so the next one is um badi al oud and this is by latafa and this is oud for glory this one is a dupe for oud for greatness if you want if oud for greatness i will tell is very musky very strong it leans ma it's unisex but leans masculine this one too <laughs> it's unisex and it leans masculine but it's also a very nice scent well you know what i love it loud and this is what it is this is loud you have to love your musk scent to love this one but if you like oud for greatness you will like this one again because of the similarities in both of them you're gonna get the siage. Siage is amazing. Longevity is amazing. This one, as I said, people it projects. People are going to smell you before they see you, and when they leave, when you leave, you're still gonna be lingering there. This is just how great this is. Really a good dupe for oud for greatness. As you know, oud for greatness is not cheap. It's not a cheap perfume. So if before, if you don't know what it smells like and you want to get a feel of oud for greatness, I would say try this one. It's loud, strong, and this one is strong and loud. <laughs> now it has saffron, nutmeg, and lavender in the opening, and then it have agarwood and patchouli in the mid. In the base, you have the agarwood again, um, patchouli and musk. So very woody, very musky scent. You have to love woody notes. You have to love musk to love this one. 
but I like it. I think it's beautiful. Wood for Glory by Latafa. Now let's soften it up a little bit and get something that's a little bit sweeter and fresher. And this is the same Badi Al Oud, but this one is sublime or sublime. I will say the Badi or Badi Al Oud line, few, they have quite a few of them. They have the Amitis that I like. They have this one. They have the Oud for Glory. Quite a few of them, but they're really nice. So I would say check these out because the bottle is heavy. R Latafa did a good one with this line. So this is fruity, very fruity. Um, this is supposed to be a dupe for Eden Juicy Apple by Kaoli. I wouldn't say it's a dupe or it's a close dupe. It's, it's, it's close, but it's not a close dupe. It's, you know, when something is not close, I say it's a cousin. This is what this one is. But this one is, um, it's fruity, it's feminine, it's fresh, right? But then it also have that remnants of Baccarat Rouge in the mid as well. So sometimes it smells a little bit, little bit like Baccarat Rouge, but then it gives you that fruity, fresh, um, feminine scent. So overall, a beautiful scent. Yeah, very fruity. You're gonna get the apple in the opening when you first spray. Does it have apple? Yeah, so it has that freshness in the opening. I actually do like this. I'm not a big fan of Kaylee Eden Juicy Apple. This is close, but it's nice. So I actually prefer this one. And it could be because I love Baccarat Rouge <laughs> for some reason. Anything with Baccarat Rouge, I like. As you know, I did not have a dupe for Baccarat Rouge in this video. However, there are so many dupes out there. The This one line has a good one as well for Baccarat Rouge, which is okay. But there are so many dupes out there for Baccarat that I, you don't, I don't have it here but this one remnants of Baccarat but not close either but it's a this one I think is just a good perfume on its own so it's not beast mode it's gonna give you four four hours Kaylee Eden Juicy Apple is also not beast mode so nothing different there it does project in the first hour but then after after that is more skin scent they have to come into your bubble to smell this but you have to bring a, I think you have to have a decan for this one. But it opens up with the apple, the lychee, and the rose. You have the plum and the jasmine in the middle. And then in the base, you have moss, vanilla, and patchouli. I don't think it's a dupe for Eden Juicy Apple. I think it's close. You have remnants, same thing. I don't think it's a dupe for Baccarat. There's remnants of it. I think it's a good scent on its own. So if you want like a fruity floral scent, with a little bit of sweetness in the in the dry down i would say try this one and this is Bade al oud and this is sublime sublime by latafa really really beautiful and that's it those were my dupes for today um i think this is a really good list of dupes um they're very very close to the original i didn't want to bring you anything that wasn't close or you know that wasn't close to the original i wanted to bring you things that you can wear that people will think that you're wearing the original or just really good quality um fragrances today so i really hope that you enjoy it if you have any of these tell me tell us what's the longevity is it close am i right am i wrong right let us know because people do read your comments. I read your comments too. There are some gems in this one today. They are all fragrances that I love, that I wear, and that I recommend. So let me know. Let us know in the comments if these are fragrances that you have or if you plan to get them as well. I want to know. You know, I read your comments and I respond to every single one of you. Again, if you're still here and you like the video, please subscribe, stick around. Um, I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.